Hi everyone, welcome to day three of our Focus 2020 Summer Camp. My name is Scott. And I'm Jennifer, and we have been so excited seeing all of you this week. You've been working so hard, and we are proud of each and every one of you. Today we're going to focus on who Jesus is. But before we get into our lesson, I would like for you all to stand up and we're going to worship God together. You are above every other. Your love amazes me. You created every beautiful color for everyone to see. I want the world to know, I want my life to show Just what your love has done for me Praise God, cause only you deserve it I want the world to know, I want my life to show Just what your love has done for me Where I'm going, knowing you go there too 
Maybe if you turn it sideways. Nope. Oh, hey, Kellen here, and I'm looking at an optical illusion. If you look at it a certain way, you're supposed to see a 3D picture pop out. Here, see if you can see it. Do you see it? Hey, it's a dragon eating a donut. No, it's a baseball player using a rubber chicken as a bat. It's just a bird! A normal bird! Yeah, I still don't see it. Okay, but I also have this one here. This is cool. So the lines look like they're moving, but they're actually not. It's playing a trick on our eyes. The way these lines are put together gives them the illusion of movement. Crazy, right? We've been talking this week about taking a closer look at what's around us. When we're taking a closer look, maybe we can see things that we hadn't seen before. Or maybe we can see things in a new way. Our Bible story today is asking us to take a closer look into who Jesus is. We're in the book of Matthew, and when we pick up the story in chapter 16, Jesus has already been on the scene for a while. And people are wondering, who is this guy? He's doing miracles. He's feeding the poor. He's hanging out with all kinds of people the rest of the world look down on. He's teaching new things. Who is he exactly? So we read that Jesus was walking down the road and he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? His disciples turned to each other and they didn't answer for themselves. They told him what other people were saying. They told him, some say you're John the Baptist, others say Elijah, others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. That's what the disciples said. But let's say you asked people today, who is Jesus? You would probably hear a lot of different things too. Maybe some would say, he's a great teacher. Some people might say he's a great rabbi or preacher. People might see how he healed the sick and call him a doctor. People might say Jesus is love, that he is the light of the world, that he is a shepherd for his people. People have a lot of different thoughts about who Jesus is. But let's go back to the story now. His disciples had given him answers of what others were saying, but then Jesus asked his disciples, but what about you? Who do you say I am? I wonder if the disciples were scared here. They were put on the spot. Maybe they didn't know exactly who Jesus is, or maybe they didn't want to say what they thought. But here, Jesus was asking them point blank, who do you say that I am? they had to answer for themselves. But then, after a moment, Peter spoke up. He too might have been scared or unsure, but he said this, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Now, Jesus is many of those things we listed, but Peter recognized he is so much more. And here's the thing, you're invited to recognize the same thing. 
if you see that Jesus is the Messiah and ask him to be a part of your life, he can and he will continue to change your life forever. Now, Jesus went on to tell Peter that his answer was revealed to him by God and that Peter will be the rock that he would build the church on. Now, here's the thing about Peter. He wasn't perfect. He said some pretty wild things and made some pretty big mistakes, but he was honest and he wasn't scared to say what he was thinking or ask questions of Jesus or other people. Peter took a closer look at Jesus. He saw the way Jesus loved, the way he taught, the way he changed the world. Peter realized Jesus is the Messiah. We can learn a lot by being honest and asking questions just like Peter. You can talk with people about what you believe. Especially, talk with people in your life that you can trust, like your parents or your small group leaders. The more you talk about what you believe, the more you can learn from others and the more others can learn from you. That's it for today. I'll see you guys soon as we continue to take a closer look. In our story today, people thought that Jesus was Elijah, John the Baptist, or a prophet. So today, when people talk about Jesus, what do you hear about him? What do people say? What are some of the words or terms you hear about Jesus? You might hear that he's a teacher or that he's a healer of people or that he feeds people. When Jesus was with Peter, he asked, Peter, who do you say I am? Peter replied, you are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. So what does this mean for you? So when you think of Jesus, what do you think of? What terms do you think of? Do you hear or think of some of the things that we've already heard, like Elijah or a prophet or a teacher or a healer? And how do you talk about Jesus to others? I know giving everything that's going on right now, it can be hard, but it always goes back to who do you think Jesus is? So be like Peter and talk to others about Jesus. So you ask yourself, when can you talk about Jesus? Well, that's Anytime, when you're at school with your friends at the cafeteria, talk about Jesus. When you're at baseball practice or gymnastics or dance, talk about Jesus. You'd be amazed on what you can learn from listening to others or hear their viewpoint and what they can learn from listening to you. Thank you everyone for tuning in today for day three of our Focus 2020 Summer Camp. We really enjoyed talking to you, but make sure you tune in tomorrow for day number four. Before we go, I wanna leave you with this one question. Who is Jesus to you? Hi, welcome to Focus Crafts. I'm Miss Teresa, and today I have Josiah, Brianna, Emma, and Caitlin, and we're gonna be doing popcorn pep talks. And for this craft, you should have popcorn and chocolate chips. As we talk, let's pop up and talk about some of the things that you learned this week. So you're going to mix them up. Popcorn and chocolate chips, yummy. That's okay. All right, so who wants to tell me something they've learned this week? Girls? Yeah. Who wants to tell me something you've learned this week? Um, I, I learned that the wise man builds his house on a rock, mm -hmm. and the rock resembles Jesus. That's right. And uh, we learned that, um, that you can talk to God at any time, mm -hmm. outside, and he can right. like, speak to us. That's right. Caitlin, mm -hmm. what did you learn, honey? Can you see God? Mm -hmm. How do you see God? Because mm -hmm. we can't actually see him as a person, right? So how do we see God? What about the things he made? What did God make? Us. That's right. God made us. That's right. God made everything, right? Mm -hmm. So we can see him in the things that he made. So you can see what he's made. Did you know that you can hear from him when you go through his word, when you read your Bibles and you learn about him? So you can hear from him. So not only can you talk to him any time, you can hear from him. Did you know that you can also talk to other people about what you believe? Yeah? Yeah? And you might learn something from other people, right? That you didn't know. So talking about your faith is, is an important way for you to grow, okay? So the more we talk about our faith, the more we can grow, right? Mm -hmm. That popcorn pretty good? Yeah? 
with the chocolate? I found a chocolate Okay. Well, that's a good thing to learn. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. Join us tomorrow for Pray S'mores. Bye. And we're gonna keep eating our chocolate chips and popcorn. Bye. Welcome to Focus Games. I'm Miss Faith. I'm Miss Sierra. I'm Miss Jessica. I'm Miss Peyton. I'm Miss Emma. And today we're playing Water Relay. You will need two buckets, one with water and one empty and a t-shirt. And if you have enough people, you can do four buckets, two with water and two empty and two t-shirts. What you're gonna do is have two teams or uh, one team, depending on how many people you have, and you're going to dunk your t-shirt in the water and then run to wring it out in an empty bucket and then run, run back and tag your teammate and give them the t-shirt and they're gonna repeat the process and we're gonna time you and see how fast you can do it. So let's go! and take pictures and join us tomorrow for the suitcase relay. Bye! Hey everyone, welcome to Focus Crafts. I'm Miss Kaylee and today we're going to be making a garden sun catcher. So in front of you, you should have your plate that is on a garden stake, two paint colors, and then a paintbrush. Um, whenever you're ready, you're going to pick whatever design you want and we're going to paint on our plate, which is our, our sun catcher. So you can pick your design and make it as beautiful and creative as you want. I'm doing kind of a cross on mine, then I'll add some dots. And you can keep going and decorating yours until you're finished. Once you're done, you wanna make sure that you wait until your plate is dry, and then you're gonna find somewhere really bright where the sun's gonna shine, and you're gonna put your garden stake um, into the ground in your garden so that the light can shine through your sun catcher. Um, the light's going to shine through this just as we want the light of Jesus to shine through you. And one way you can do that is by um, talking to your friends about your beliefs with Jesus. Um, so make sure that once you have put um, your sun catcher out that you take pictures and that you post them so that we can see y'all's finished product. We're so excited and looking forward to seeing them. And then make sure that you come back tomorrow for Focus Crafts because we're going to do a candy cross. Thank y'all.